Hey there kids, Grandpa Lemon here, and today I'm playing a game called Paint the Town Red. Uh, you know, I like this video game so far. It reminds me, the graphics remind me of what video games used to be like in a much simpler time when you could get a roll of quarters and spend an entire afternoon just playing video games. Now, uh, okay, I appear to be in some type of dance club. Uh, appears to be a bit of a bit of a pickle party, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of a sausage fest. I don't know where the ladies are at. Oh, they're spinning square records. That's kind of cool. Uh, okay. Still trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe I go up here, order a drink, or punch the drink. I don't know. Is that what I'm supposed to do? What, what am I supposed to do here? It's, it's the idea to pick up a lady because I don't see any yet. Maybe it's Maybe it's guy's night. Wait, what, what am I doing? Oh, okay, I'm, I'm throwing the chair. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so that guy's sitting on a chair. Oh, okay, well, well I just took his chair. Whoops, sorry. Whoa, what's that guy doing? What is happening? Wait, why, why is this guy fighting me? What's going on? What did I do? Wait, why are you fighting me? Why is that bartender? Just, I didn't even do anything. Hey, why are you fight? Oh, come on. What the heck is going on? I died? So wait, I think I get I get it now. I'm supposed to fight people. Oh, club beat down. Okay, it's all making sense now. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so I just beat up that bouncer. Now, wait, why are these guys trying to fight me? Wait, I didn't even mess with them. Wait, I want to get out of this club. Hey, stop hitting me. Oh, hold on a sec. All right. All right, you want some of this sideburns? You got it. Bring it on. Get out of here. I mean, look at these two guys are like beating up on this guy. Maybe if I help him, he'll be my friend and want to help. Why is everyone ganging up on me? Isn't that always the case when you go to the club? Says, oh, you trying to spend some time with my best gal? Well, I died again. I got to figure out a way to get like friends to help me out here. See, right now, everyone seems to be having a good time. And the music's not even that great. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, you know? Like, the DJ, he could he could stand to step it up a little bit. Like, if I was the owner of this nightclub, and I came in, and they were playing that music, I'd be like, you're, you're fired. All right, so here we go. Oh, now we have twins fighting, apparently. I'll, I'll fight you, and I'll fight you. Oh! Why is it that as soon as the fights start, like, 12 guys come after me? That just doesn't seem fair at all. What is, okay, I didn't like that guy anyway. Who do you think you are with that hat, Pharrell? Get out of here. What about this bartender? He just seems like a hipster. Oh, nunchucks. Now we're talking. Oh, all right, now I know where nunchucks are, so I think that's a good thing. I'm, I'm, maybe I can go behind that bar. Hopefully they're there again. Now I'm gonna use an Afro pick as a weapon. This should be interesting. I'm like the MacGyver of street fighting. I, I make a weapon out of anything. Yeah, that's right. Run away. Yeah, I didn't think so. You want some of this? I literally just killed you with an Afro pick. I, I, I didn't think that was possible, but apparently it is. All right. Yeah, what's up? Wow, that's a lot of pixelated blood. I feel like I'm in a Quentin Tarantino movie or something. This is a very deadly Afro pick. Oh. Yeah, not so tough anymore, are ya? All right, here we go. Yeah, take that! Oh my God, I'm doing pretty good this round. All right, yeah, let's go. Hey, fell. Hold on. Whoa, I got. Well, now I got way too many guys. Hold on. Oh crap! Hold on, I'm just beating up everybody. I'm on a bloody melee. There you go. Get out of my way. Oh, and you. Yeah, DJ. Oh, good. Finally, the music stopped. I should have done that ages ago. Maybe. Oh, what's this? Just like the backstage area? Just a green room? More like the red room. Ha 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 ha. Get it? Because there's a lot of blood. This game is very violent. So I'm wondering if there's like, uh, if there's a way to like. Now, what happens if I if I beat the crap out of everybody in this club? Do I go to the next club in New Jersey? Oh, what's is there a drug deal going on in here? What is this? Whoa! Oh, clearly I came into the wrong room. Guys, I didn't know that you guys were having a meeting. I'm so sorry. Oh, boy. I mean, oh, this is bad. Uh-oh. Now I got the 
Genovese crime family coming after me. Hey, I feel like this is what happens uh, when you're done doing Minecraft. Like, you, you come here to, like, just blow off some steam, you know? Is, is this where is this where everyone in the Minecraft game goes to afterwards? It's like it's like some kind of fight club. Like you spend the whole day doing your little building blocks or whatever and making stuff, and at the end of the night, hey, you know what? You, you want to toss back a few, and you want to do it in a safe environment where there aren't any of those little what do you call them bomber men things, those bomb guys. So you come here for a drink, but then it just it always inexplicably turns violent, doesn't it? I guess that, that's the nature of Minecraft. But again, this music, I'm sorry. Like, I wouldn't spend five seconds inside a club with this kind of music. I mean, it literally makes me want to go to sleep. And I sleep all the time. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love sleeping. Oh! Yeah, what do you think of that? Oh! Mama said knock you out! I gotta try that from now on. Just shoving a glass in their kneecap before punching them repeatedly in the face. That's... That's a good street fighting technique. Whoa, that guy has a knife or something. Hey, that's not cool. Hey, get... Ah, oh, come on. Knives, my only weakness. I should have known. By the way, they should really think about renaming their club. Because if your club's already called Club Beatdown, and clearly lots of fights happen there all the time, eventually word's going to get out, you know? I mean, there is such a thing called Yelp. And people will eventually say, yeah, I like the club until, like, literally there was a 60-man fight on the dance floor and people were throwing chairs. I got uh, a, you know, beer bottle smashed on my kneecap. You know, I read reviews like that on Yelp. I don't want to go to a club like that. And again, like, what is up with... Everyone seems to be showing way too much chest. Okay. Can we chill with the V-necks, guys? Like, look at that guy. You know, everybody with their V-necks. I mean, I just want to take one of these throwing stars to one of these guys with the V-necks, maybe. Is that DJ wearing a V-neck? I think he is. Oh. Yeah, he was wearing a V-neck. That's what you get. American Apparel Call. They want their outfit back. Oh, snap! The DJ has a lot of friends. Ah. Oh. Serves me right for trying to go into the DJ booth. I guess, you know, that's just code for if you go into the DJ booth, bouncers will automatically just come up and, you know, basically beat you to a, a pixelated bloody pulp here first. Oh, wait, was this a bathroom? Yeah, I'll start a fight in the bathroom. Oh, wait, someone left throwing stars? And, uh, why would you leave throwing stars in a toilet? Oh, and why would my character pick it up? I mean, come on, that's kind of gross. Now that guy's mad, because he's like, you just do a throwing star that's got, like, poop and pee on it. Hey, hey, get out of here. Can't I go to the bathroom in peace? My God. You're so rude. I mean, seriously. I'm trying to take, you know, the Browns to the Super Bowl, and then you come in here and just interrupt me when I'm trying to have a moment. That's extremely rude. Extremely rude. Shame on you all. I can't tell if that's blood or... I don't even want to say what I think it is. How many times do I have to kick these guys in the chest? I feel like I'm in a UFC fight. That was just way too much. Is that a bat? Okay, again, someone needs to talk to security because the fact that there's a baseball bat at one of the tables, you got to figure, like, at Club Beatdown, at some point, someone's going to be using the baseball bat along with the various ninjutsu weapons that I've found throughout the club. I mean, my God, isn't, isn't there like nunchucks behind the bar? I think I remember that. Throwing stars everywhere. I, I think you know who, I think who secretly owns this club? Pretty sure it's the Ninja Turtles. I'm pretty sure the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles own this club because that's the only explanation for their, oh yeah, that's right. What do you think of that, Silky Smooth? Or whatever your pimp name is. Yeah. What do you got? Yeah, you got that cane. I don't care. All right. Oh, now I've got his cane. Oh, he's even got a money symbol on top of it. That's kind of cool. All right. Oh, yeah. I kind of... Whoa. I put that in an uncomfortable place. My goodness. All right. Now that music is stopped, it, this is, it just seems like it's much stranger. All you hear are the, the pitter-patter of 
fists to face with no really bad soundtrack behind it. Oh wait, no, now the music's starting again. Is there a new DJ? What's going on? I like this cane, it's good for clobbering. Oh, I died! I thought I had that guy. I was almost positive I was gonna beat everyone. Well, well kids, that about does it for Grandpa Lemon. I hope you had fun. Uh, I know I had fun. Uh, but if you like this game, uh, be sure to click that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and remember, if you're ever in a club and someone wants to pick a fight with you, always...